Oops, didn't mean to do that. The second round action continues right now. Introducing first, representing England, weighing in at 181 pounds, Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, what makes Zack Sabre Jr. I love that jacket. I mean, just his technique in a variety of different styles. He has mastered the British style of wrestling with the old catch as catch can. He's done a lot of modern submission wrestling with the arm bars and the triangle chokes, and he's also done very well with the kicks. Here we see him in the first round match against Tyson Dukes, but look at this transition. Just like a monkey around Tyson Dukes' body into the Uma Plata and then pulling back on the arm. The old Look at the ranks. amazing technique here. I, I thought of myself as having mastered the Uma Plata. I think Zack Sabre Jr. went up to me in the first round. And his opponent, representing the United States, Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! The Trailblazer joined a school wrestling team when he was 15. Two years later, when he was 17, started training for the pro version. Yeah, and Drew Gulak takes umbrage with Zack Sabre Jr. being called the best technical wrestler in the world. Drew Gulak is an incredible technician himself. In the opening round of the Cruiserweight Classic, Gulak defeated Harv Sira with a body scissors dragon sleeper, and he's no joke in this tournament. Though, so regardless of what anybody says about Zack Sabre Jr., I think Drew Gulak's dragon sleeper is the most vicious submission in this tournament. Stampede Wrestling promotion in Calgary as Gulak now 
attacking the midsection of Zack Sabre Jr. Drives his head right into the gut of Zack Sabre Jr. And Gulak again just wanting to prove to Zack Sabre Jr. You know what? They call you the technical wizard. Lime. Just as proficient uh, as you are. Not only as provis proficient, but probably more vicious than Zack Sabre Jr. Looking to slap the taste out of Zack Sabre Jr.'s mouth. Yeah, that chip on his shoulder might get you at the edge here. He's willing to do things while he has holds, like the slaps to the face that we just saw, to really inflict punishment on Zack Sabre Jr. Reversal on the Irish whip. Gulak lands on the apron. Runs. Sabre runs right into the forearm, and Gulak again ascending to the top turnbuckle. Oh! Right into the Fujiwara armbar! Beautiful transition by Zack Sabre Jr. Drew Gulak's in trouble here. Double wrist lock by Zack Sabre Jr. He would hate to be tapped out to Zack Sabre Jr., especially after all the talk of Zack being the best technical wrestler in the world. Good escape by Gulak, rolling out. Oh, and look at this. Corey Guerrero special. special. The patriarch of the legendary wrestling family. Look at Zack Sabre Jr.'s shoulders. That is torturous. This is a torture hold by Drew Gulak. Now grabbing his chin and pulling it across his shoulder. Corey Guerrero never applied this. First one was more painful than that. The shoulders are down. And now into a Boston crab. Look at the way Zach is bent. Oh, Roll up here by Saber. Wow. Yeah. Tremendous Tim stuff Red for Red both competitors. Red. Much to the delight of the crowd here at Full Sail University. This is what cruiserweight wrestling is all about. All right, let's go. I might have to side with Drew Gulak in this one. He's out techniquing. Zack Sabre Jr. Fireman's carry takeover by Gulak. Using all leverage, not strength. And look at him. Hitting his arm down and wrenching on Zack Sabre Jr.'s neck. Beautiful display of the ground game. The grappling arts. One of the foundations of professional wrestling. And you are seeing diversity in this tournament. Oh, octopus hole here by Zack Sabre Jr. Out of oh, nowhere. Oh, oh, oh. And this ties up Gulak's entire body. Oh, look at Gulak grabbing the leg. Beautiful transition into an ankle lock. Gulak seems to have a counter for everything Zack Sabre Jr. is doing. There's a counter by Sabre. Oh, look the side headlock, but then dropped on his back. Each time Zack Sabre Jr. does an impressive counter, Drew Gulak does one that's just an inch or two better. A motivated Drew Gulak wanting to eliminate one of the tournament favorites. You can see the frustration on his face. Yes! Up into that electric chair position. Oh, Zack Sabre Jr., this is how he, this is how he won the first round match against Tyson Dukes. He's got the Kimura. Will he transfer into the Uma Plata? He's got that. Body triangle with the Kimura. Going for the gym break special. Drew Gulak has to break the hole. There's the strength. Scoop and a slam. And hey, again, shades the world of sport where they used to slam their opponents into the ropes to add to the punishment. Yeah, did you see the way Zack Sabre Jr.'s leg hit the rope? He's going to be feeling that for sure. Maybe a little much. The crowd heavily invested in this grueling affair between Drew Gulak and Zack Sabre Jr. One fall, 20-minute time limit. The winner advances to the quarterfinals. Oh, penalty kick by Zack Sabre Jr. Gulak powers up. And shades of Katsuri Shibata with that penalty kick. Here's another look at that PK. A great evasive move here by Zack Sabre Jr. into the penalty kick. Nearly got the pinfall there. Got it started. Oh, look at that oh, overhead judo throw into the pin. Pinning combination. One, two, kick out by Gulak. Incredible wrestling by wow. Zack Sabre Jr. And that is... 
The operative word, incredible. What a display of their skill, their heart, and the courage that it takes to survive a tournament of this nature. Single elimination. Slaps to the face! Now the final day of the round of 16. Who is it going to be? Zack Sabre Jr. or Drew Gulak? Look at those palm strikes! Shades of the Pancrase organization in Japan! Oh! Zack Sabre Jr. may be knocked out! Look at his eyes! Drew Gulak needs to take advantage right now! What a grueling encounter it has been! Yelling. Gulak trying to take advantage now. Roll through the leap drive. Into the sunset flip! Grudgingly shaking the hand of Zack Sabre Jr., who finds himself in the quarterfinals. One more spot to fill. It's the Filipino flyboy, TJ Perkins, taking on Johnny Wrestling himself, Johnny Gargano, who will find themselves one step closer to fulfilling their dream. We'll find out next on the Cruiser Wake Classic. I'm Corey Graves, hanging here in the CWC control room, and I know how much Twitter likes it when I wear floral prints, so I dug this one out of my closet. With the technical <laughs> wizard having just advanced, we are down to just one more spot in the quarterfinals of this tournament. It's Johnny Gargano taking on the Filipino hotshot T.J. Perkins. How can Gargano, on just four days rest after his match at TakeOver Brooklyn, possibly be 100%? I don't know. But if there's one thing we've learned so far here in the CWC, it's never to count out the heart of Johnny Wrestling. But will it be enough against one of the hottest competitors in this tournament, the showman, TJ Perkins? I feel like my generation, they look up to the heroes that they see, but they don't really have somebody who identifies with them directly. I think that my generation needs 
A representative. I'd like to be that. Started training at the age of 13, traveling throughout California and Mexico to sharpen his skills. He likes to do things with style. From a very young age, he was a wrestling genius. I'd like for people to see me wrestle and feel love. TJ Perkins is one of the fastest men I've ever been in the ring with. He does things that nobody else will do. Yeah, I take pride in my ground-based game because I think that the most beautiful part of our game is submission wrestling. Oh, a little dab in there by TJ Perkins. Some say that Perkins is maybe a little too cocky for his own good. I would love if somebody thought that I was all flash and no substance because, you know, the longer they see me do that, the longer they keep on wondering. Not only did he do that with technique, he also checked his hair in the process. When you look back in history, there are things that are going to be traced back to this point in time. And my name is going to be on that list. And my name might be very high on that list. TJ Perkins looking for the submission, and he gets it with the knee bar! What a performance by TJ Perkins. I'm going to win the Cruiserweight Classic. I'm a versatile performer, and this will be the biggest thing that I've done and the largest stage I've blessed to be a part of. Me and Tommaso Ciampa. Sometimes you fight family harder than anybody else. Well, Johnny Gargano's normal tag team partner, Tommaso Ciampa, tonight, their opponents. If you're gonna win this thing, you need to beat your A game. Well, these guys know each other so well. Oh my gosh! They are throwing literally everything at each other. Scissors takedown by TJ Perkins. Very good at using leverage. 
Even using his head there to drive Johnny Gargano to the mat. Monkey flip by Gargano, but Perkins remains. The Griffin then delivers a monkey flip of his own, looking for the training predicament now, and body scissors by Gargano and Armbar. Yeah, he needs to get lower on the wrist for that armbar to work, though. Beautiful counter by TJ Perkins. Yeah, Deathlock now into the Muta Lock. Popularized by KG Muto, the great Muta. Yeah, Johnny Gargano's knee is taped up from the beating he took a takeover. Yeah, the team of Gargano and Champa coming up short against the Revival. What was a terrific match for the NXT Tag Team Championships, but his knee compromised, and you know that TJ Perkins will focus his attack on that part of his body. Yeah, that reverse Indian deathlock was so tight, the ref had to help the two get out of it. European uppercut delivered with a plumb by TJ Perkins. Reversal on the Irish whip. Oh, and a trap kick right to the abdomen sends Perkins outside. to do whatever it takes to get that final spot in the quarterfinals. Yeah, but Johnny Gargano is no, he's no stranger to working through pain. He was the Dragon Gate USA champion for over 800 days. He faced some of the best competitors in the world and held that title for a very long time. He is no stranger to working through injuries. We just saw Rich Swan advance. He's faced Rich Swan many times. Akira Tozawa and Zack Sabre Jr. upon a roll by Gargano. Countered by TJ Per- Oh! Surfboard. Look at the wrestling smarts here by Johnny Gargano. for his superior striking skills, slick submissions. Has a proclivity for breaking his opponent's spirit oh. before beating them, and here comes a rocking horse by T.J. Perkins. You want to talk about somebody who's slick with submissions, T.J. Perkins is one of the best. Look at his transitions here. And now, it looks like he's gonna go for that Romero special. Again, just torturing. Has his shoulders down now, but Zorn. Actually, TJ Perkins' shoulders were down as well. Yeah, I've been in that predicament before. It can be tough when you have that surfboard trying to pin your shoulder, your opponent's shoulders to the mat. Perkins refers to himself as a wrestling Yoda. Tremendously high ring IQ. 18-year veteran, just 31 years of age. Walks right into that boot from Gargano. Beautiful sunset flip, the roll-up, jackknife cover, no. And scissors, take over there by TJ Perkins. And a little jab for effect. TJ Perkins, one of the most well-versed people in this tournament, having wrestled a variety of styles. He wrestled extensively in Mexico, wrestled extensively in Japan, wrestled all over the United States and Europe. Idolized three of the very best in Eddie Guerrero, Shawn Michaels, and the original Tiger Mask, Satoru Sayama. And there's a kick that Tiger Mask would be pleased with as Gargano turning the tables, tapping the shoulder. Gargano on the apron. Dives through the ropes and nails. He speared Perkins. Using his body yeah. like a lawn dart. Yeah, but look at him holding holding that knee. Look at that again one more time. Gargano firing himself like a missile into the body of TJ Perkins. Yeah, but you wonder the toll that's taken on his knee. You can see the tape underneath his knee pad. Big chop. Yeah, debilitating knife edge chop from Johnny Gargano. Taking the wind out of TJ Perkins. Just brutalizing his chest. Setting his chest on fire. Burning it with those chops. Johnny Gargano. Perching him up on the top turnbuckle now. Ducks out 
shots in that exchange. Again, just one spot remains in the Elite Eight. It will go to either TJ Perkins or Johnny Gargano unless they go the 20 minute time limit. And these two as competitive and as evenly matched as they are, that just might be the case. But look at Gargano clutching at his knee again. I think it's really starting to bother him here. TJ Perkins through, just so slick. To the back. Gargano trying to get himself back up to his feet. Oh! Good counter by Gargano. Oh my, oh my gosh! He his fell. leg, did you see his leg? Oh fuck. Into the bell table! Wow. A sick crash landing. One more look at that, beginning with the kick. And then the counter. I can't believe how hard his leg hit the bell table. That's his bad knee. Whoa, both men down and out. I don't know if either men are going to be able to get back in the ring. What a shame it would be if these hey, guys get, get counted out. Double count out. No one advances. Oh, referees up to a count of eight. Four. Or four. So I wasn't good at math, Daniel. <laughs> That's a real... Gargano uh, trying to fire himself up here. Still. Uh, Rough landing. Gargano on that injured leg, but oh, he gets caught. Fireman's carried by Perkins. Oh, whoa! Oh! Gargano <laughs> able to escape. T.J. Perkins wondering what's it going to take to Good, pull away man. Johnny Wrestling. Two incredible kicks by T.J. Perkins. And you notice how T.J.P. covered with grabbing Johnny Gargano's right leg. His left leg has no power to kick out, I don't think, at this point. Gargano nursing that left leg again, injured in his failed attempt with partner Tommaso Ciampa to become NXT Tag Team Champions and take over. And now TJ Perkins looking to take over this match but the southpaw shot from Gargano. Who's going to fall first? Drop to hold into the ropes by TJ Perkins. Springboard. Rebound wrecking. drop kick. Beautiful wrecking ball drop kick through the ropes by TJ Perkins as he goes to the top turnbuckle. Oh, a kick right to the face by Johnny Gargano. Oh, he's going for the lawn dart. Oh, he can't. He, his his leg gave out. Whoa, he couldn't even run across the ring. And the referee asking him if he can continue. TJ Perkins going to... Going for the knee bar. Johnny Gargano's Taking in trouble. Advantage. Trying to cross over that leg. Nope. Gargano. Oh, but look at Gargano. Oh, sorry, Switching into his submission. TJ Perkins blocking it. Using his hand to block the cross face. But now he's got it fully locked in. Gargano looking for the cross face to escape by TJ Perkins. Oh, he's strong cradle. But look at Gargano countering and almost gets a three count. We are more than halfway through this final matchup in the second round of the first ever WWE Cruiserweight Classic. And Gargano really clutching at that knee now. Less than 10 minutes remain in this pivotal matchup. TJ Perkins almost had that knee bar. He's got a he's got his own version of it where he crosses the leg over. He calls it the TJP clutch. Almost had it locked in. Perkins avoids that attack. Hangman's neck breaker. Now puts 
Gargano on the top turnbuckle, and he's going all the way to the top rope. Oh, but look at the count. Whoa! Face first goes TJ Perkins. And now going for the lawn dart again. And he launches TJ Perkins into that turnbuckle. Face first, Gargano. And how did Perkins kick out of that? Did you see his neck bend against the second turnbuckle? Gargano was looking for the bullseye. Let's take another look. Holy cow! How did TJ Perkins kick out of that? And the crowd rumbling as they appreciate what both TJ Perkins and Johnny Gargano are putting on display here. Only one of these athletes, potentially one, will advance to the quarterfinals, and wouldn't it be a shame after emptying their respective tanks with less than eight minutes to go? They cannot afford to let this go to the time limit. They're going to have to pull out all the stops. Look at Gargano fighting through the pain. Drop kick to that injured knee. Super kick to the back of TJ Perkins' head by Gargano. Barely able to stand. Great super kick. TJ Perkins rolling through. But Neymar. And it's on that injured leg. He's got the injured leg. Johnny Gargano has to think about his future. He is crawling, scraping, fighting to get to that bottom rope. wanting to tear away more of the tendons. Gargano's. He's got it crossed over. Oh, and Gargano forced the tap. TJ Perkins advances to the quarterfinal, rounding out the field of the Elite Eight in the Cruiserweight Classic. Wow! You can see this crowd in shock! Johnny Gargano came in at less than 100% with that injured knee, but that should not take away from the fact that T.J. Perkins, beginning his career at 13, going through a period when he was homeless, has now booked passage to the quarterfinals, looking to make this his home looking to go. win this tournament. Look at this incredible sequence here. Super kick. And watch Jar Gargano's knee here. Into the bell table. And look at TJP here. Kick. Lifting the ball. Another knee. The innovative offense of T.J. Perkins on display, but how did he survive that long turn into the turnbuckle? Gargano fighting through the paint to spike T.J.P. And look at the duck head kick into the super kick. Johnny Wrestling could barely stand. Goes back for T.J.P. And the Paul Nelson may be looking for a dragon suplex, but the counter... Gargano would not give up. He was fighting with everything he had. But when TJP crossed it over, he had to tap out. TJ Perkins with the biggest win of his career. Here is your winner by submission, TJ Perkins. A deleterious knee bar sends TJ Perkins into the quarterfinal round as he defeats Johnny Gargano in this, the final matchup of what has been a scintillating second round of the inaugural WWE Cruiserweight Classic. And to think, Daniel, the quarterfinals are next. It's only going to get better. This is what I like to see, the sportsmanship between these two athletes after an incredible match. T.J. Perkins and Johnny Gargano both showing class. The picture tells the story. The heartbreak of being eliminated is written all over the face of Johnny Gargano. T.J. Perkins advances to the quarterfinals. It's the revolutionary Cruiserweight Classic, and it continues on the WWE Network. Oh,
It started with 32 men. 32 dreams. But now, only eight remain. The Great Eight. Kota Ibushi, Grand Metallic, Akira Tozawa, Noam Dar, Brian Kendrick, Rich Swan, TJ Perkins, and Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, These warriors the continue right. their quest to become the first ever winner of the Cruiserweight Classic. Who will fly higher? Who will reach deeper? And who will push harder to make their dream a reality? The quarterfinals begin next week, right here on the WWE Network.